What is up you guys? My name is Marcellus and before I get into my first impression video and tell you what series I'll be doing my first impressions on, this is how I do first impression video. I watch 10 to 12 episodes of the series and then I usually make the video. But I've been so wrapped up into this series that I've ended up watching 42 episodes and the only reason I'm not farther ahead is because for the past two days I've been really busy with basketball and school. And I can guarantee you if it wasn't for those two days, I'd probably be on episode 50 or 52 or something like that. But uh, let's get into it. This is my first impressions on the series Hunter Hunter. The 2011 version. Now, you know, I tried to watch the 99 version. I ended up watching the 99 version a while back. And I decided that I would watch the rest of the series, but it just wouldn't be at that moment. Because uh, some other stuff got brought up and, uh, you know, other series that I had to watch. And I wanted to watch... But, uh, you know, thanks to my good friends, uh, Luffy the Super Saiyan and Matt B, um, I decided to watch the 2011 version, especially because Matt B was marathoning the shit out of the series. I was like, you know what? I should start it. So, I gave it three episodes to see how I felt on it, and I was liking it, and I gave it two more episodes to episode five to see if I was really going to finish the series at that moment and try to catch up. And... That by that point I was already really liking it. You know, I we got introduced to Leorio, Karapika. They already took their first exam, uh, having to tell the captain why they want to become a hunter. And, you know, all the we get kind of a backstory on Karapika at that point, and we'd uh we get a back we already know why Gon wanted to become a hunter, but uh I really did like Karapika's reason for becoming a hunter. And uh, him trying to find a phantom troop. And basically, the Phantom Troop are all the way up there, and there's no way that he can basically get to the level. Yeah, I mean, not, not not saying that, but they're really up there, and pretty much anybody that's ever went after the Phantom Troop has gotten killed. And, uh, you know, just in case anybody asks, I'm not going to compare the two characters, but Sasuke and Kurapika, I like Kurapika way more. So, uh, let's get in. Let's get into the Hunter exams. You know, we get into the Hunter exams, and uh, we get introduced to a lot of different characters, you know, Killua... And a lot of characters are wiped out in the first couple phases. Uh, we, we lose a lot of characters, which I like. And uh, uh, one thing that Killua really, like, I felt like Killua was doing, like, he, he was such a badass. He was taking the exams just to see how hard it was. This dude, like, every he was on a skateboard and everybody else was running. And he could have easily just skated to the end. But this dude got off and started running because Gon was running. So, um, you know, he gets off, he starts running, and then we, we get introduced to a lot of different characters. You, we get introduced to Hisoka in the beginning, but Hisoka really gets eerie when he attacks. For me, he gets eerie when he attacks Leorio and Kirapika, and Gon has to come and, like, punch him or whatever. And he decides not to kill the friends, and he decides to carry Leorio to the finish line, which is fucking insane. Like, that's how creepy he was. That's how, like, badass he was, dude. Like, he, he beat the shit out of Leorio, punched him, and then carried him to the finish line for Gon, and realized that Gon had potential. And then we get to the fourth phase, I believe it was, when they had to take each other's tag, and Hisoka basically gives uh, Gon his tag and tells him, you know, give this back when you're able to land a punch on me, and then knocks the shit out of Gon. And that basically leads us into the final stage of the Hunter Exams, where... Gon, I, I, when Gon fell asleep, when no, before that, the Liriorio and Karapika showing their emotions and how tight they become with Gon, when uh, Hanzo was getting ready to break his arm, he's in pain and shit like that, and, you know, Karapika goes into, like, the Scarlet Eyes almost, and Liriorio is about to go out there and beat his ass, even though it could disqualify Gon, like, it, that was crazy to me. So, after I find out that Gon was sleeping and the Hunter exams were basically over, and he was a hunter, I was pretty mad. I was really mad, actually, uh, that we missed most of the fight, but then finding out what happened, I was I was happy that uh, we were going to see more of Killua because they were going they were going to get him, and how badass Gon was when he broke Killua's brother's arm without even knowing he broke it because I don't think he knew he broke it. He decides, you know, I'm going to get Killua back from the family of assassins, and I don't think that was an arc. That was a pretty much a mini arc, the retrieval of Killua. I liked it. And it, it really did add on to the character, uh, Killua, in my opinion, just for this one scene where, um, you know, he's getting whooped by his older brother, I believe it is, and his grandfather comes in there and says, you know, now you can go. And the dude just breaks out of the chains, and he's like, you know, I'll let you with me. I'm like, god damn. He, he, he's such a beast, man. 
So uh, then we go to Heaven's Arena, and that is when shit gets real, bro. That is when shit gets real. Like they split up and they decide, you know, they go the different ways. Leroy was going to study uh, medical stuff. Karapka, I don't know what Karapka wanted to go do. And uh, Gon basically goes with Killua, and they go to Heaven's Arena, where they end up encountering Wing, and he teaches them about Nin. And then we see a whole bunch of uh, Nin-based fights, and uh, Hisoka ends up going against Gon, and the dude pops a boner, it gets all weird, and uh, then we see more of Hisoka's Nin powers, but uh, we still haven't seen the peak of his powers, in my opinion, or well, where I'm at, we still haven't seen the peak of his powers, and you know, he, he ends up beating the shit out of Gon again, but Gon ends up landing a punch on him to give his tag back. So, uh... I'm not going to drag this video on too much. I'm loving the characters. I'm loving the world building. I'm loving the plot so far. And, you know, since it, it really did add on to the fact of Mew, I really wanted to watch it before I even watched it because, you know, Hunter Hunter, uh, Togashi wrote Yu Hakusho, and I was really interested in Hunter Hunter before I watched it, but I'm, now I'm really glad that I watched it. And, uh, you know, making this video too long, I'm, I'm, have to, I'm taking away time that I could be watching Hunter Hunter. So, uh, Leah, like the video. If you enjoyed it, tell me in the comment section what you thought about Hunter x Hunter or what you think about Hunter x Hunter. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to subscribe. I'm almost at 400, you know, 28 away, I believe, some shit like that. But uh, 